Hello and welcome everybody again. Today we're shooting video walk around the 2023 Husqvarna Northern 901. This is the standard model, this is not the expedition. So we're gonna have a look around what this bike has to offer. So this is take taken from KTM 890. Parallel twin A99cc engine produced 105 brake horsepower and 100 newton meters of torque. This is the kind of lower spec WP Apex suspension. It's lower than the Expedition and lower than the KTM Adventure R. They fully adjustable for the preload and compression. The same the rear shock, fully adjustable. This bike standard equipped with the quick shifter. Pirelli Scorpion tires, the re uh, less aggressive tires versus the KTM. Twenty-one inch wheel on the front, tubeless tires. Ninety ninety by twenty-one. Pirelli Scorpion S tires. On the KTM, if I remember correctly, that was the Metzler tires, the more off-road aggressive tires. This one has Husqvarna branded two piston rear calipers and four piston front calipers spoke tires rubber pads on the foot pegs standard with Varna exhaust so it's the same engine as KTM 890 Adventure Adventure R. This is, I tell you straight away, I had a test drive and this is kind of bad design. This is catalytic converted. Sitting in the traffic produce a lot of heat to your legs. And I heard from the guy from Husqvarna, people just removing the catalytic converter. So it's just empty box sitting over there. So there's less heating coming out. So, coming in the front, standard KTM switches, mirrors, handlebars, everything is the same. Kind of low screen, not adjustable. Uh, compare to the 890 Adventure R, which I rode a while ago, this screen produces more wind buffeting around your helmet. So, up to 100, 110 maybe 120 kilometers per hour it's fine but after that there's loads of wind blasts around your helmet the seat it's very comfy but also very wide so you have to bear in mind when you sit on this bike because you have to just crotch more open it takes the, the height as well so but i'm 180 centimeters tall 32 inches in seam in my legs and I have my legs flat stretch by flat so it's not too bad compared to expedition expedition has better taller suspension so the seat on expedition in lower position is exactly the same and as on this one standard one in higher position so also on the standard nor the 901 you have a kind of more flimsy flimsy uh, bash plate over here less cover over here as well uh, expedition has more beefy more thicker uh, bash plate under the under the engine also the standard was has only a kickstand the expedition is equipped with the central stand also 
different to the expedition. Standard Northern has only grab lace, uh, grab hands, rails, and uh, plate for the, the luggage. Expedition has this also kind of metal, bra metal brackets for the panniers. Other than that, the front lights, those plastic are exactly the same, just paint a different color. The light, front light, axillary lights, they're the same. They're different, like I've said, just on the suspension between the Northern Standard and Northern Expedition. Expedition has taller screen, so better for the longer journeys. Uh, much beefer. Uh, bash play under the engine and central stand and higher seat due to the different shocks So how would they compare this northern standard northern 901 and expedition? To the KTM 890 Adventure R which I wrote a while ago. So this one For me, I didn't actually drive the, the expedition, but like you know The chassis is, is exactly the same just like I'm said different different suspension so this one, this bike, for me, it's kind of more road bike versus the, Adven the KTM Adventure R. Adventure R is kind of skinny over here. This is kind of more beefy, more the plastic. There's no tank. The tank is just like, you know, exactly on the KTM sitting on the, on the bottom. It has 19 liters versus 20, but more or less it's the same. Just those plastic on the sides, they kind of make this bike much wider. So probably in kind of terrain condition, you have to bear in mind this bike is much, much wider than KTM. Also with the Expedition, those rear side panels, which comes as a standard, makes this bike much, much uh, wider. Also, the Northern 901 Expedition, fully equipped, will be slightly heavier than KTM 890R. So this, of course, this Expedition or the Standard Maroon, they have uh, off-road capability. So this standard Northern 901 and even better equipped 901 Expedition, they're fully capable of the riding off-road. But I would say 50-50, 50 off-road, 50%, 50, off 50 road. It's very nice position, uh, very nice wide comfy seat. So traveling on the public roads on motorways, it's, it's nice, especially probably on the on the expedition version due to the taller screen. But KTM uh, KTM 890 Adventure R, I would say it's probably 60 or 70 percent concentrate more on the off road, uh, and then then 40 percent or 30 percent uh, riding on road. It's just pure, pure off-road machine. The kind of build, uh, the tires, the suspension, just tells you this KTM 890R. It's a kind of dirt bike. Engine-wise, they are exactly the same, produce the same power so that they feel very nice in the, in the street mode. You can overtake the cars, no problem, plenty torque slightly vibey on this one on the northern 901 and the expedition you have a like you know rubber insert on the foot pack so probably you feel less the vibration compared to the ktm 890 adventure r uh, power plant gearbox exactly the same very smooth very nice so no complaints at all so like i said for me this bike would be for the people who wants to tour more time spent on the road, on motorways, going to the places. Of course, if you want, you can just go off-road as well, but you won't be able to do the same stuff as on the KTM. KTM is just pure crazy, like, you know, off-road machine. Slightly lighter, uh, not that wide on the front, so you, you will be able to just go to the, like, you know, places where there is no room. This is much, much wider. Of course, give you probably better wind protection to your legs. And it's slightly heavier than the KTM.
Other than that, oh, I like both of them. I like both KTM and and the uh, So the the question is, you have to actually answer yourself. What type of rider? Where, where do you spend more time, off road, or you need only bike to get to the the, the terrain and ride more off road stuff? But if you spend more time on the roads, doing the distance riding, doing the kind of commuting, this will be a very nice bike for you. It has a very upright straight position, nice soft suspension. So, yeah. Very nice, clear, fully visible dash. You have all the information, you have like, you know, your gear indicator, time, fuel gauge, temperature gauge, all the information over here. So, the brake reserve fluid, the all switches, they exactly the same as in KTM. So you start up the bike without using clutch, so you just press bike start itself so this bike doesn't have a sport mode as only street mode and on the street actually it's no problem riding this mode nice this is sound coming through from that parallel twin engine 899cc so you have a couple different like you know ride modes street rain off-road so this one has only three modes street rain off-road uh, the expedition has one mode extra same like KTM, but on the, on, the, on the expedition, all those modes are unlocked from factory. You don't have to spend extra money like on KTM. On the KTM, you have a, like you know only, only demo time, which after a couple like you know days, I can't remember exactly how, how many days, two weeks, three weeks, the demo mode is just switching off, and you're limited. If you want to unlock that extra mode, extra gadgets, you have to pay extra money for the KTM. On the expedition, everything is unlocked from factory, from the box. So, yeah. So on the on the expedition, like I'm said, you have a better suspension front and rear. You have a central stand. You have a better bash plate under the engine. Uh, you have a taller screen, uh, heated grips, and heated seat in standard, which you don't have on KTM. You have to pay extra. for extra demo rides and uh, I don't think the KTM has the heated seat okay has definitely 890 Adventure R heated grips but not the seat so yeah that was short walk around the 2023 Northern 901 the standard version not the expedition the riding experience, like I said, very nice, very comfy bike. This is probably more street oriented than the expedition version. But for the distance riding, you don't need anything better than this one. If you prefer more fun off-road riding, I will recommend to have a look on the expedition or KTM 890 Adventure R. That's pure pure terrain machine off-road machine with the road capability so yeah there you have there you go <laughs> quick look so yeah this one has cruise control cruise control yeah adjustable like you know clutch and the brake lever Nineteen liter tank. That's the fog lights. Twelve volt socket for your sat nav. This is the sat nav mount. 
like I said, very nice package. Quick shifter, it's okay, it's the same as on the KTM. So the, the, the only difference to the KTM will be outside design, outside package. But if you don't want to mess it with your bike straight after when you purchase new bike, I think the Expedition is a complete package. It has everything from the showroom, everything, I mean everything. You don't have to add much. The only concern about this one, Northern 901 Expedition or the KTM 890R, it's a kind of heat coming through from this place due to the Catali converter just mounted over here. And I heard also people complain about the shock, rear shock failing. I think it's due to the heat coming out from that catalytic converter and just melt. It's not too bad when you're riding, but soon when you stop in the traffic, you start feeling that kind of heat coming out, okay? So that's it from me. This was the short walk around and quick initial thoughts about the 2023 Northern 901, okay? Thank you and see you, bye-bye.